Hi, this is question four from the AQA Mechanics 2 January 2013 exam paper. In this question we've got a diagram that shows a uniform lamina which is in the shape of two identical rectangles here and here and also a square that's here. The length of AX is 10 centimetres. The length of XY is 10 centimetres and the length of AH is 30 centimetres. For part A we want to explain why the centre of mass of the lamina is 15 centimetres from the line AH. Now because we've got a uniform lamina um, we may be able to spot that we've actually got a um, line of symmetry um, which goes through this point here. So that means that my centre of mass must lie somewhere along this line here, which well if that there is 30 centimetres, this here is going to be 15 centimetres. Okay, so for part A, um, we can say that um, uh, the reason why the centre of mass of the lamina is 15 centimetres from H um, we could say because it is symmetrical. Okay, part B. It says find the distance of the centre of mass of the lamina from AB. So now we're looking for how far the um, centre of mass is along this line here. Okay, so whereabouts it's going to be along this line here. So, um, in order to answer this, well, first of all, um, because it's a uniform lamina, um, we um, we don't know what the actual mass of anything is. Um, we can say, well, we've got a unit mass. So each unit um, has got a mass of um, a unit squared. So I can say the mass. Uh, unit area is going to be equal to and we'll just assign it a letter um, A. Right so um, well how does that help us? We're now going to take moments um, about AB. So I'm going to start by marking um, where the centre of mass is for each of these individual laminates. So for example, this one here, where it's going to be uh, there, where it's going to be 15 centimetres away from AB. And the mass of this, well, we've got um, 30 times 10, which is 300 units squared, or 300 centimetres squared. And the mass per centimetre squared, we said, was A. So that's going to be 300 A. Okay, I'm also going to have um, one here, and that's got um, an area of 100, so it's going to be 100A, so that's the mass of that one. And then also we're going to have another one here that's going to also be 300A, because we've got 30 times 10. Now, to make my life a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, draw myself in... Two axes. So I'm going to call this my x-axis, and I'm going to call this my y-axis. Okay, so this is my x, and this is my y. Okay, so um, my centre of mass um, in this direction, we already know, is going to be 15 centimetres. So we would say that x bar is equal to 15 centimetres. And we need to work out what y bar is. So um, we've actually got a formula for this because we know that the total mass times by y bar is going to be equal to the summation of all the masses times by y. Okay, so the total mass we've got, well, that's 300A for the mass of this um, here. And that's 300A, so altogether that's 600A, 
and this one here is 100A. So we've got 700A times by Y bar. So Y bar represents our center of um, mass in this direction. Um, is going to be equal to or the sum of um, this one um, which is going to be 300A times by its centre of mass which is 15 centimetres in the y direction plus this one which is 100A times by and its centre of mass which is going to be um, 5 centimetres plus 300A times by this one which is going to be 15 okay so um, and we can we can simplify this because I've got 700 and all the A's um, will cancel each other out so I can ignore the A's now so I've got 700 Y bar is going to be equal to well um, we've got 300 times by 15 which is 4500 plus 500 plus 300 times 15 which is 4500 so that means I've gotten 700 Y bar is going to be equal to 9500 which means Y bar is going to be equal to 9500 over 700 um, which is 95 over 7 um, which I believe works out to be 13.6 centimeters okay so um, so that means that the um, center of mass is going to be 13.6 centimeters away from this line AB so around there somewhere okay um, Part C says the lamina is freely suspended from point H. We need to find to the nearest degree the angle between HG and the horizontal when the lamina is in equilibrium. Okay, so if I just mark on where my center of mass is, which is roughly going to be here. And I'm now going to draw a line um, from the point H to my um, center of mass. So, um, so line okay, um, we're going to have a line that looks like that there. So when we when we hang this from H, um, this point, the center of mass is going to be vertically below it. And what we're trying to find is we're trying to find um, this angle here. We're trying to find this angle here. So um, in order to find that angle, I need to know what this distance here is. And I need to know what this distance here is. OK, well, this distance here we know is going to be 15 centimeters because we worked that out earlier okay and that's the horizontal distance um, to the center of mass or x bar and this distance here well I know this distance which is y bar I know that distance there is 13.6 centimeters so this distance here must be 30 take away 13.6 centimeters um, and that works out to be 16.4 uh, centimeters okay so now I know this distance and I know this distance I've got enough information to work out this angle here so for part C I could say well the tan of this angle here so which we'll call theta we could say that tan theta is going to be equal to 
my opposite divided by my adjacent so it's going to be 15 divided by 16.4 okay so that tells me that theta is going to be equal to the inverse tan of 15 um, by 16.4 and um, that I believe works out to be 42.397 degrees and just to point out I, I used the value that was saved in my calculator um, and rather than using 16.4 um, and that, that's where this value comes from. Okay, um, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.